Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to react on the episode 5 of His Man 2. So without much further ado, let's get started with the video. <laughs> You can actually see how happy Jin Song was. I think uh, the note was the first step Sung Ho took towards Jin Song, and like uh, it actually indicated that Sung Ho cared for Jin Song. He was actually going on a date with his crush, and yet he decided that he wanted to leave a note for Jin Song. He he acknowledged Jun Song's feelings in that moment and I think that was the first step and even Jun Song realized that and he was so happy because he understood that even if, if it was a little bit, Sung Ho did care for him. Both of them were making efforts towards each other. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when Jun Song is like whiny. He's like so adorable. This guy is like so adorable. He's even when he's whining, he is like so so cute. I'm so Young Jun's first love is food. Without a second hesitation, the way he, do, he instantly turned his head towards Sangho to see what he got. Sangho was actually looking for the letter in Jun Song's bed. He wanted to know if Jun Song got the letter or not. And um, the smile, the smile Sangho had when he got the letter, when he saw Jun Song's uh, note, when he saw Jun Song's note, that smile, that little smile, his heart was already accepting Jun Song. <laughs> The note didn't even say let's go on a date. It was like I want to go on a date with you. That was like so hot. What do you guys think? Uh, if Sung Ho, if Jun Song actually did get uh, the card and if even Sonu got the card and if both of them asked Sung Ho, who do you think would Sung Ho pick in this moment? In this moment, I, I can't figure it out who Sung Ho would have picked. Although I'm really happy that it was Sonu. Uh, because I feel like the date with Sonu was really necessary because that ended and then he could move on. I feel that date was like really necessary or it would have been like it would have been stuck in uh, Sangho's head that what if, what if that question would have been stuck. So I, I'm really glad that he had that date with Sonu so that he can finally move on and actually give a real chance to Jun Song. <laughs> I'm <laughs> 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 
Junsung's enemy is that painting. He hates that painting so much. Like when uh, uh, Sonu was actually showing them the paintings, you can actually see Junsung's uh, curious eyes. The way uh, Junsung was waiting curiously, and even though uh, it was like uh, a a drawing made by Sangho and Sonu for each other, really, uh, really sweet of him to actually be curious about everything that the person you're interested in has done so this curiosity was like really uh, really heartwarming for me this show literally had so many love triangles at this point it was actually exhausting to keep track of all these love triangles my standard in men was this and the moment Junsung entered the show my standard in men literally went to this 형진님 같은 경우는 사과 오셨어요. 너무 너무 고맙습니다. 선은 콜 현진 on the previous night and Hyunjin is the kind of guy who just moves on. He would he would not wait for someone. When you are a people pleaser, no, you actually get affected a lot by these small small things. It might not have been a big deal for everyone, but for Sonu I feel it was a big deal. Obviously from Hyunjin's side it, it obviously is like he's not treating Sonu the same way because the first day he was interested in Sonu, but he didn't receive the call back, right? So he tried moving on with someone else. He uh, Hyunjin is the type of person who is not going to stay behind and wait for you. So he is open to options and he's trying out other options and being the people pleaser that he is uh, he is feeling really bad he's thinking what he has done but in reality he hasn't done anything except for the fact that he actually didn't uh, reciprocate uh, Hyungjin's feelings but it's totally fine he can uh, he is free to choose whoever he wants so it was not actually Sonu's fault <laughs> <laughs> this guy is something. Throughout the show, Yunhee did think that Sonu was interested in Sangho. And um, I am like curious to know what his impression was, uh, like what his first thought was when he actually saw the episodes. I want to know his reaction to Sonu calling Hyung Jun because I feel that um, in the whole group, I feel that uh, Yunhee is more uh, closest to Hyung Jun. Uh, so I want to see his reaction to that. Uh, the first time you watch it, you're like, okay, you're, you're just watching it. You're not really going that deep into the context. But when you see it a second time, a third time, you realize um, that every single one of them had a different story, had a different uh, perspective, ha had a different um, personality altogether. I honestly kept feeling bad for Sonu in all these episodes. I, I truly felt bad for Sonu. He wanted to uh, make everyone happy. He didn't want anyone to be, you know, um, to be mad at him or to judge him. He didn't want to be in a bad relation with anyone. The way even uh, when he said that, uh, I feel guilty. I feel uh, guilty that I cannot go on a date with everyone or that I cannot reciprocate their feelings. I just wanted to tell him that he doesn't have to do it. He just doesn't have to be good to everyone. He doesn't have to reciprocate everyone's feelings. He just had to listen to himself. I think that's all that mattered. And if he just followed his own heart without thinking about anyone else, a truly different outcome would have uh, come. That Sonu was never being true to himself or his feelings. He wanted to be uh, you know, he wanted to please everyone else. He wanted to be good with everyone else. He wanted to have a good relationship with, with everyone else. And that is fine. That is totally fine to have a good relationship with everyone. But I feel a, a 
tiny bit of him should have been thinking about himself and his heart. <laughs> Junsan is literally the meme phase. I mean, I can make a lot of memes from all his expressions that he has shown throughout the show. Junsan is literally the meme king. <laughs> Junsung's expressions are always killing me. The way his eyes grew when he saw Min Sung, uh, Sung Ho pointing towards Min Sung. It was like so adorable. <laughs> Junsung must be thinking, Min Sung? How is that possible? I thought it was Hyung Jun. <laughs> From the second day only, uh, Junsung thought that uh, there was something going on between Hyung Jun and Sung Ho. So when um, Sung Ho chose uh, Min Sung, his, ex his eyes got big. <laughs> I'm <laughs> 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 I really, really hope that uh, Sung Ho makes sure that um, Jun Song doesn't hate Christmas anymore. I really, really hope that this year's Christmas the year of 2023 and all the other uh, Christmases that's going to come after this year. I hope that all of these Christmas is filled with love and joy for Jun Song and Sung Ho and I hope that they are together. I just hope that Jun Song's bad memories can get replaced by Sung Ho's good memories with him. <laughs> I feel so bad for John Oak. I, I hope that there is someone out there who actually um, who actually comes in uh, John Oak's lives and actually loves him infinitely, actually loves him unconditionally. I just want John Oak to be loved unconditionally because he deserves it. He deserves someone who loves him, truly loves him. Song's mother was against it in the beginning and it's understandable. Korea is not uh, yet um, 
that modernized or just has some traditions and it is not really open to lgbtq yet and so jin song's mother did have her reservations uh, she did have her previous beliefs and um, it has and the way uh, now she is like open to it she's more acceptable towards jin song says a lot <laughs> I think when someone comes out in front of you, I think a lot of people don't actually know how to react to it. But um, hearing all of their stories, it feels like their friends were like, they are lucky to have such friends because their friends were accepting towards them and they were like, they knew what to say, they knew the right words. Ah, I really hope that this show actually gives inspiration to all those voices that don't have the courage to come out yet that don't I, I hope that all of those voices can be heard now and I feel Korea can take finally take its steps to changing to be, becoming a different society to becoming more free for every community and I feel that they, are, they turn more accepting accepting towards everyone to the LGBTQ community I feel sad after hearing all these stories and the thing that hit me the most was the way of whenever every one of them came out to their friends or family the first thought that everyone had was will you be protected how will I protect you how can I protect you that thought that thought is enough to let everyone know about the conditions in the Korean society regarding LGBTQ community and I feel that I hope that all of these people are protected and um, I hope that uh, the future generations are able to speak out their mind without any fear. <laughs> A lot of people have said that Hyunjin was the only one who was treating the show as a dating show and I, I totally agree with it. Hyunjin was the only one who was actually treating the show as a reality show or as a dating show and the way um, he was okay he was open to all the options he was okay to change his options and he the first time he entered the house he he liked sonu but then uh, when sonu didn't reciprocate his feelings he was open to uh, uh, trying a different route trying a different person uh, trying to cl be close to a different person and i feel that um, hyungjin actually treated the show as it was as a dating show but the way he kept changing on to it like uh, he had four people uh, that he liked or that he wanted to go on a date with i think that was a lot because there is literally seven people excluding Hyungjin so I feel um, wanting to date four people uh, out of that seven people I feel uh, that was a lot and I feel that made him look fickle minded during the date with Yun Hee uh, Hyunjin said that he liked three people and uh, in this Jenga game he is saying that he liked four people so Am I the only one curious to know what happened after that date with uh, Yun Hee and uh, in this between this Jenga game? Because that period of time, something ha might have happened for Young Jin to add another person in the mix. That another person is Jin Song. But like, what happened? I'm curious to know what happened. I feel like it might be just uh, the stories that Jun Song said in the uh, Jenga game, uh, his life experiences. Maybe Young Jin. Um, felt uh, that uh, he might connect to Jun Song more uh, from these um, stories of Jun Song so maybe uh, he maybe this in this Jenga game he might have uh, felt attracted to Jun Song but I'm really curious to know what what was the um, 
changing point was what was the reason for Hyunjin to add Jun Song? Dude, uh, why isn't Jun Song's expression shown? Uh, in this situation, uh, Jun Song might have thought that uh, uh, Hyun Jun liked Sang Ho, and that's why he wanted to see uh, Jun Song's expression to know what actually was going on in his head. But Jun Song's expression was not shown here. Damn it! I wanted to see his expression, but. Uh, I think here Jun Song definitely thought that um, Hyung Jun, the person Hyung Jun was talking about was Sang Ho. Not even a second hesitation. Not even a second. See. Why? Why the hesitation? Why the hesitation? Like various reasons, hesitation for various reasons. What reasons? This is the time you actually tell us. What reasons? What was the reason? Because a lot of uh, doubts, a lot of theories can be just um, can be a lot of theories can be just uh, solved if you just tell us what the reason was. I think the reason this show became such a success was obviously the roommate couple but also because every single member of the cast, every single cast member was like true to themselves to some extent and they were like the way they weren't afraid to let out their true feelings the way they actually shared a part of their lives without being scared or without um, being insecure the way you can actually see everyone's insecurities everyone's fears everyone's struggles through the cast members stories and through the cast members behavior the way they were comfortable enough the way they were sure enough to let uh, to share everything with each other i feel this bonding is like really pure and really really strong I was so mad at this scene. I can actually understand that uh, the voices in the phone does not sound uh, accurate enough. So I can get uh, his um, confusion. But also the things Hyunjun said. Min Sung should have been able to guess it from all the things Hyun Jin said. Also, um, the reason Min Sung said that it was it might have been Sang Ho was because Sang Ho did uh, tell uh, during the Jenga game that um, he was interested in Jun Song. One uh, one of the person he was interested in was Jun Song. Oh, sorry. One of the person he was interested in was Min Sung. So I feel that's why Min Sung thought that it might have been Sang Ho. But I feel if Min Sung just thought about it more, he would have realized that it was Hyung Jun who had called him because Hyung Jun did give him clear hints. <laughs> Doesn't this remind you? of something doesn't this remind you of anything like this the fighting go go for it and all these encouragement this reminds me of episode one sung ho and jun song i remember sung ho was um encouraging jun song and he was like yes you can do it go for it don't be nervous and jun song went in there and called sung ho and this feels exactly the same scenario my ship Oh, 
어, 아니 그냥 어제 전화 끊어져서 다시 연락하는 건데 네. 어, 그냥 어제 차에 나눴던 대화 너무 좋았고 그냥 네. 좀 항상 챙겨줘서 고맙다는 말을 하고 싶었어 정욱이 형은 전혀 예상을 못했어요 어제 전화 매칭이 나랑 안 됐는데 미안할 것도 뭐야 아, 그치 미안해하지 않고 동정이 아, 아 그런가? 어 그래 나도 내 연애하러 온 거야 응. 그냥 네 감정만 얘기하면 돼 남을 미안해하고 대화할 필요 없어 Exactly. Exactly what Jun Song said here. It should have been told to Sung Ho, Sonu. It should have been told to Sonu. Jun Song was not receiving a call from his crush for three days now. No, for two days. Uh, he didn't receive a call from his crush. But not once did he say, um, did he ask Yun He to, uh, uh, that he should reciprocate um, John Woo's feelings. He never said that. In fact, he was encouraging Yun He to follow his own heart. This shows that uh, Jun Song never actually expected Sung Ho to return his feelings back. He just wanted to pursue Sung Ho and he never wanted to pressurize Sung Ho in any way. You are a dating show and you need to follow your own heart and you need to follow your own decisions. You need to make your own choices. You do not need to think about others' feelings. Your feelings come first on this show. And I feel um, Jun Song was a perfect example of this. He, um, the way he was decided who he wanted from the very first day and he went after that person. He never expected that his love would be reciprocated in any way. He he was he wanted to be the one to make all the efforts. He wanted to try his level best so that there is no regret left. If Sonu was true to his feelings, to his uh, heart, then a lot of things would have been different. The disaster, <laughs> the disaster is here. <laughs> Oh, this actually gets funnier when you realize that uh, what he said during the Jenga night that he would call someone he wants to have a skinship with. So this get this call gets funnier when uh, remembering that. And also, I um when I first saw this scene, I thought that Jun Song was just blushing because he remembered that skinship thing, and then you know, he called him, so he realized, uh, he thought that you know, he wanted to have skinship with him, and that's why he was blushing or um smiling i thought that way but then uh, in the reaction video i realized okay that wasn't the reason he was smiling because he obviously realized that you know, he did not want to call him because of the things that he said it was for someone else so i can actually <laughs> see the smile that he had now uh, it was because he was laughing at his makne he was like god this kid <laughs> One more disaster. 내일 아침에 숟가락 두고 나와라. 알겠어. 어, 애자라. 오늘 데이트가 이제 남의 집에 입주하고 나서 제일 편안했던, 저 다, 어떤? 시간이 제일 자연스럽게 흘러갔던 데이트였어요. From second day, Sonu has surprised me uh, with his calls. I, I never expected Sonu to call Hyunjun. And then here also, I didn't actually feel any connection from Sonu's side, especially towards Sung Ho. So it was really shocking when he made that call. All these things that he said was true. He might have felt like himself. He was comfortable with Sung Ho. But it was not romantic. I just can't believe that it was romantic in any sense of the way. So my theory is that this was already the third day, right? And Sung Ho and Sonu wanted to make a choice. Like he wanted to make a choice. I think everyone... At this point of time, by the fourth day, everyone wanted to be like everyone wanted to be clear about their opinions, and I think Sonu was the same. Sonu wanted to be clear about who he wanted, and I feel out of everyone, uh, he he chose the safest option. I do not believe that um, it had anything to do with Jun Song, and uh, that he wanted to get back at Jun Song or he wanted to tease Jun Song. That's why he made the call. Although um, some uh, although like during the Jenga night, I feel like there 
something did happen when uh, jun song said that he liked the person who was sitting on his left side which was sung ho uh, sonu did say that um, he was upset for various reasons and i still think it wasn't because sung ho was liked by jun song i feel it was because jun song liked sung ho i think that is that is why he was feeling upset but also uh, the call was made uh, by sonu because um, of uh, making a final choice i think out of everyone he was uh, comfortable with um, so uh, sung ho and i feel according to that mindset he chose this the people sonu tried calling uh, jun song and hyunjin didn't really uh, give him um, the same attention or didn't really reciprocate his feelings min sung was like his friend jonu i don't think he was interested in jonu that much i don't think uh, jonu uh, the uh, jonu had much interaction with sonu at this point of time for yunhi i feel for yunhi i feel like this time he was like uh, maybe the age thing i don't know i just don't i can't believe the age was a factor really but okay fine for yunhi i'll just go with the age only I, I, although i don't uh, think it was the age but i'll still believe it was the age difference so okay for the yunhi it was the age and um, for hyunjin hyunjin was ignoring him as he himself said but the only person who was left was sungho and sungho uh, on his date with sungho he also felt comfortable he he was uh, like he was feeling comfortable he had this friendly bond with sungho and he did have certain similarities with sungho so he went with the safest choice he went with sungho and sungho was also the person who had called him from uh, day 1 right so this is my theory i can be completely wrong but um, i just I will never believe the fact that Sonu was interested in Sungho in a romantic kind of way. I just, I just don't see it. From Sonu's point of view, I just can't see that. we had so many theories uh, when uh, this episode was released we were like okay this is some editing thing yun hee didn't actually call jun song that's impossible how can he call jun song right we were like uh, yeah that is editing uh, it's actually sun ho called jun song and yun hee called sonu and it was like mismatched like it was edited in such a way that it was shown as if sun ho uh, as if uh, yun hee called jun song and we were sure about it everyone was so sure about it even though we saw the uh, clip of jun song saying um why would uh, like yun hee uh, disappeared in front of me and he called me we actually saw that clip and yet we were like very firm in believing that this wasn't real this was just edited i remember this episode <laughs> so well i remember this i was like i was hoping i was praying i was sure that maybe it was some who would call jun song some who would call jun song and i was like really hoping for it so it was like very it this this uh, series the show actually gave me so much anxiety and so much tension i was like i was worried every single time that who would sung ho call that time was like really really nerve wracking it was like very scary okay so this was it for today's episode i hope you guys liked my video and if you did like it please go like subscribe comment and share love you bye